Disproving viral tweets is different than debunking a TV ad. Combating meme makers is different than rebutting newspaper columnists. And the memes are pretty powerful sometimes. My suburban grocery stores never had empty shelves like that. But the messaging here saying that Biden is to blame for anything bad about the economy, it is clearly sticking to some degree. Even though economists believe GDP is going to surge this quarter, even though the American recovery is historically strong after the pandemic, the meta story is that we are in choppy waters. As Jonathan Chait wrote in this New York Magazine cover story, nobody can ascertain exactly why the public has turned so sour, sour, sour so fast. He said Biden is like a patient wasting away from un, some unrecognizable, sorry, undiagnosable disease. Hmm. Maybe a year from now, this current discourse will seem like yet another temporary media-created crisis. But it's worth asking, how is the Biden era registering as a meta story? Clearly, Biden, uh, it's purposeful that he's not as vocal or public or in your face or as twittery as Donald Trump. That's obviously the White House's strategy. But does that register as missing in action? That he doesn't appear to be fighting? That Biden is letting everyone else tell his story? And if so, will he like the ending of the story? CNN's on-air potato uh, sitting there complaining about memes. I thought that was amazing as somebody who creates a lot of memes and someone who uh, uh, really makes their bones, actually, in the meme economy, as I call it. Uh, I think this is funny. I think it's great. I think it exactly shows the power of what we're doing here and why memes are so important. I have been preaching this bill of goods for a very long time. I have been saying that meme warfare is the real warfare and people love their memes and it's the best way to interpret the world around you. Nobody is watching Brian Stelter. His ratings have cratered to their lowest ever. I think it's like 500,000 people were watching his show. You gotta understand, like we, we do lives that have three times that number watching them, right? Live here on Facebook. So just so that you can like get, don't get it twisted. And we're not trying to brag here. It's just pathetic. This man is just pathetic. Then he come, he's coming after our memes. We got a meme for you, Brian Stelter. Here you go, Mr. Potato Head. On Friday, I was about to go get dinner for my kids when Donald Trump Jr. attacked me in his speech at CPOC. Um, something about me looking like a gender neutral potato head. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel. But we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going. It keeps us growing and keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patriots.